Kim from the Quilt Pro Studio Chicks. Welcome! Today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about the Quilt Pro Assistant, which is this screen right over here. Quilt Pro has a built-in virtual assistant. It's awesome. It's called the Quilt Pro Assistant. It's right here and it is a super user-friendly uh, user's manual. It has all of the topics listed here, as you can see. Um, there's an index and it's got all the letters of the alphabet at the top and you can either scroll down to look at the different topics or if I wanted to jump to M, I can click on the M and it will take me down to that. Now, there are, um, you will notice that some of these items are in purple and some are in blue. Well, the reason why these ones are purple is they're ones that I have clicked on and looked up. So it kind of keeps track of stuff that you've already looked at so that you can maybe find it a little more easily and go back and refer again if you have another question about, say, make a custom grid or docking tools. So they're very easy to find all of the different topics here. Now, one of the great features about the Quilt Pro Assistant is you have the option to either lock it and keep it on a specific screen or you can unlock it. And then as I come over here and I hover over, say, a button on the ribbon bar, the Quilt Wizard, over here in the Quilt, Assist, Quilt Pro Assistant, it automatically switches to that topic. So if I have any questions, I can quickly come over here, hit the highlights, and figure out the information that I need. Another thing that you'll notice that I really love about the Quilt Pro Assistant is that they have words that are in bold type. It kind of helps you easily find your way, maybe scroll down through just with your eyes to see, find exactly maybe the answer to the topic you're looking for. It's really great. So as I'm going through, like I said, I can come over here and go to the quilt gallery and it automatically goes there. I can go to here to quilt labels and it's got that. You'll also notice that right underneath the description and how to use that button, there's a little part right here that says related topics. So it's got editing text, photo library, embroidery library, and block library. And luckily all of those things um, are essentially cross-referenced here for you. So you don't have to think, okay, now wait a minute. I know I'm gonna wanna use this with the block library. You'll be able to easily just click here and it takes me right to the block library page so I can look at all of that. Now, if the description of the topic is longer than the um, window you have open, there's two ways to move down the page. You can either come over here and you can click on the button with your mouse like I'm doing. You can click on the bar and you can hold it down, do a left click and hold it down, and you can scroll up or down that way. Or if you happen to have a mouse that has a wheel or a spot in the middle where you can run your, hand, your finger up and down on it, you can scroll up and down like that. I actually prefer to use a mouse that has the little scroll wheel in it. It just makes it really easy to move up and down. So, that's how you scroll up and down in this. Another great thing about this Quilt Pro Assistant is this window, you can move it wherever you want it on the screen. You can actually come down here and you can grab the corner of it if you want and you can make it smaller or skinnier or wider. You can uh, customize it to what will fit on your screen. You can also, um, I know some people really like to do this, depending on what you're working on, you may even want to just click on this one and minimize it. I'm not going to do that right now because we want to keep it up so we can see it. We also have the option of clicking on the refresh button at the bottom, and that just refreshes the screen. So if for any reason it decides it doesn't want to play nice that day, you just click re refresh and it will take you back. And if you're trying to decide what topic you want to look at, you're not exactly sure uh, what you're looking for, you can always click index and go back to this ABC list. You can scroll down through that or you can hit the letter and it will take you straight down. So the Quilt Pro Assistant is pretty awesome. It is super helpful. I highly recommend keeping it open while you're learning Quilt Pro. Um, 
even me as a more experienced user, I often have it open even if it's just in a skinny little bar over here to the side because occasionally it's just really nice to have that reference. If you're working with a tool that maybe you haven't worked with in a while, it's nice to be able to look over, take a quick peek and decide uh, how to take care of the grain line tool, for example. That's something that you might have questions on. So thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to hit subscribe below so you don't miss out on any of our new, new tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.